Good morning. <laughs> there was once this gardener and uh, he had too much work. So he decided he was going to hire a young gun to give him a hand. So the young kid turned up and uh, the gardener said, I'm going to give you a simple task to start. I want you to put a hole here and here's the shovel. And he went away and uh, <coughs> came back a couple of hours later and he saw this kid going like this. He sort of walked up and said, what the, what the hell are you doing there? He said, I'm trying to put the space in the ground here. You said you wanted a hole here. Gardner looked at him, he said, he said, you don't need to bring anything outside to put the hole here. That's what the shovel is for. You simply need to remove the dirt. And that's a very apt description of you know, the problem with most of us when we're dealing with problems. And that is, the problem doesn't often require anything to be brought in from anywhere else. The problem is simply like the hole. The solution's there. You've just got to remove the dirt. The dirt are all these other extraneous factors. The biggest bit of dirt is firstly, lack of recognition of the problem. Secondly, acknowledging once you recognize the problem that you have a problem. And then it's a matter of planning how you're going to remove that problem. Finally, execution. So there are four stages in the solution of a problem. And that is the beauty of astrology. Whether you believe it or not, that I'm just going to tell you what I do. Yeah, there are other ways to solve problems, but from an astrological perspective, looking at the chart to identify those underlying bits of dirt. Um, we got the dirt on you. Now, I don't mean it in a nasty way. I mean that sometimes that dirt, the problem is often not an external thing. It's, it's this subconscious thing, this this undercurrent that undermines the undermining undercurrent. You know, the psychological complexes from our childhood, the, the things we don't consciously remember, but our subconscious not only remembers, but is underpinning everything we do, every decision we make. Oh, I'm going to be wealthy. Yeah, but how can you be wealthy if you've got a mindset that's you know, being undermined by those early scarcity signals and messages that you've got. So astrology is about identifying the problem that you have deep within your being, not just all the superficial stuff. And so I invite you to take a look to find out what those undermining factors are. It's easy to recognize the external factors, what's holding you back there, but it's these subtle forces of nature, of personality, of character. The psychology underlying the character of each individual person that is the uh, interest of astrology. We have the year market astrology, the sun sign astrology. I do that as well, but bear in mind that's a very generalized form of you know, categorizing the 12 types. In a proper astrology consultation, we look at underlying factors that are unique to you. So I do invite you to come and join me. And if you've got any comments, I always welcome them. Take care. Astrology.com.au. There's lots of information there on helping you identify the problem and to eliminate that problem.